everybody, welcome back. We were knocking on the door. We're knocking on the door of Monster Train. I'm thinking, okay. Let's do melting random. I'm basically, I'm in this new mindset where I'm like, I picked the champion. The secondary clan doesn't matter much. And melting umber is really good. Can be really good. We have consume spells. Let's see what we get. Let's start here, because burnout... Um, burnout relics can be valuable. Whenever a burnout unit dies, deal 5 damage to all enemy units. Honestly, seems great. So is the damage shield, because you could take a hit for a unit and still get eaten, but I think we can use that and then have our dregs basically just be like... Just be good. Um... I sort of just don't see this being that good. Um, it gives you five extra life. You get five life whenever anything dies. I don't know, let, let's try. The plus one is nearly meaningless. But I think with 15 HP, you kind of, you play as a tank. Let's not turn this on. I think we, I, I trust my judgment now. It's taken me a while to get there, but I feel like we, we've gotten there. So, like, I think we play as a tank. Just, there's there's a lot of good options here. This is maybe great for a... Uh, well, because this Harvest... Harvest doesn't count with Gorge anymore. Okay, so I'm just using my Noggin, okay? So, I think... You're just going to have to believe me that in my heart of hearts, I thought... I had already played Crushing Demise, which makes no sense, but just work with me. So we're not going to play you as a tank, actually, this time because we want you to die faster. Also, we rolled the dice. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, because you got five damage. It hit you, but did five damage. It hit you, killed the unit at the back, and then the only unit remaining was the unit at the front. So we got extremely lucky, quite frankly. Um, go ahead and give me a damage shield. And then also... This time we're gonna put you at the back, so maybe you could do nine damage. Should have put a collector out there. Yeah, we, we could have. We missed out on some gold as a result of that. Now this time, I do think we put you up at the front, and then we get twenty life from the two units dying. Actually, no, from four units dying. Okay, there. That's what I've underestimated: is the speed at which we can actually build damage, or build build life. So you can become like a pretty serious tank pretty quickly. So I love that. You're already getting five life. Um, because you have damage shield, like the life steal is not actually worth that much. But I guess I'd rather you have the the damage regardless. Um, so we want you in here, because then you die. Okay, it's it, fair enough. This is going to be a little bit of a harder one to run than usual, I think, for myself, but that's okay. Because we, we haven't used this champion ever. Um, and I'll tell you, I think we, in this situation, don't get me wrong, I like that as well. But I think we love a draft. In the future, we will have Umbra units. Now, if we can make our draft endless, that's what I'm talking about. So let's see what we get here. We should have the ability to plan for the robot, I think. Where, like, in my head... Let me think about this for a second. I mean, you having Burnout 2 would actually be pretty nice. Now, you having a little extra HP is helpful too, but... In my head, for the Umbra, it's very simple. Overgorger's number one. Lifesteal is number 1.1. And then tied for second slash third, because I cheated the system here, um, is damage and robot. I think robot's a little bit better. You have to factor in the energy cost, obviously, but I think robot's a little bit better. Okay, so we're taking a hit. Now we're not. So this is a weird one. Um... But I think we play Robot, and then the Dreg is just in case there's a Collector. And we might as well daze you.
No, I think actually, now that I think about it, dazing you makes no sense at all. <laughs> but that's okay. There's plus 30 damage. That's that's quite a lot. Um, and you do 7. So Gorge doesn't count as a kill. Dumb. Uh, however... Okay. I mean, we could have put it up here, but I think we're going to put give you lifesteal. We're going to have you do that. This will lead to your death, so we won't do... Ah, but that... Okay, so we'll just put it up here just because we can, and it doesn't hit any cans. I think we're still okay. No fear yet. I mean, this is a gimme. Hit the right unit as well. Um, whenever a unit dies... No, when a burn only when burnout units die. Noted. Duly noted. So you're you're gonna make it to the pyre and that's okay. What do we want you to have? Preferably I think some damage shield would be nice. And then you just take your fuel. Shouldn't have encanted on him, but whatever. We got a lot of energy for our next turn. Let's see how we're looking down here. It's not as cut and dry as our last one, but what do we like? This does a lot of damage. You guys are both toasted. Um, stalling you for a turn doesn't do anything at all, but on the bright side, hey man. We got three train stewards out there. That makes a little difference. Makes a little bit of difference. Um, I was just going to say, we need as many dregs as possible. Because the more dregs we get... The more damage these backline units take, but they're... Oh, no, no, because it's armor. Okay. I think we're actually still totally okay, even though it looks pretty bad. Our robot is, is quite prodigious. Now, a dreg? No dreg, huh? Well, we're winning, so that's... It was hot, but we got there. Robot lived with one HP. We could have summoned some tanks in front of him. As soon as you see the X, I'm like, why bother? Let's get a molded, because I think it makes... Bringing our drafts back is really nice. Um, I actually don't think the pack Morses has been that essential so far. It's tough. Lady of the House is pretty good. But I think I'd... <sighs> she is 2540. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Morsel Master does make it... Much easier to gorge, but we don't have like a we don't have a, a low amount of gorge ability right now. So I think that this is fine. We can find a way to maybe get burnout cycling around a little bit faster. Now Legion of Wax, if it's in there, of course I'd love to have it, but Okay, large stone is like pretty important. I think it always does best on the robot. Um, you're a tank, so the tankier you get, the the tankier I get. The tankier you get, the thankier I get. All right. Trap shoot is just a, a better version of a card that we've already been using. Um, so I think I will take it. I feel solid about this so far. I'm just trying to think of what we want. I really feel like in the mid-level, like low and mid-level ranks, capacity was kind of king. Now I'm learning that energy is, is really, really good, depending on the faction. But... Uh, Draw is kind of the, the one that we don't know yet, right? It's the one we don't know about. So if you get reformed, it comes back with burnout. Otherwise, I was like, dude, it could be so sick. Play the robot, kill it, reform it, <laughs> and then, but we don't really want it to die and come back. So let me look at this for a second. Killed the good unit. You love to see it. And I think we'll just set up up here. Pretty much has to be done this way. We, I don't even think we had the energy to do what I thought I could do there, so... I'm not sweating it too much. I mean, you only do 10 damage. I'm not really... I'm not sweating that too much. You're a great tank, but we need units to die to make it work. It's, but I don't really want to put anything in front of you, because if I put something in front of you... You're not that great of a tank, you know? So I'm almost like... So you give life steal. Here's the thing. You need the morsel. Let's be honest. Then you can get your HP back to full next time. I think you do put the lady up in front. Uh, 
milady. Now, weirdly enough, I'm like, maybe you actually want the train store to die? Probably not, though. I'm just trying to think of what you'd want to save here. Just get killed. Slowly. <laughs> well, not in a weird way, but just like, you know, the more damage you could do in the process, the happier I'll be. Okay, oh boy, aye, 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 aye. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's check this out. You dying is actually what we want, so that we can get to uh, molded working on you. But, if you could live, that okay, this is, this, it's still great, just not what we're looking for immediately. We for sure like this. You need to save some fuel. Maybe not for next time, but, you know, just in general. Every oh, what is that? No, because you already got the five. All right, I thought maybe we screwed up our harvest, but we didn't. So I guess, like, the way I'm thinking about it now is more like we're leaving our champion in wait until eventually we can hit him with something truly saucy. You know what I mean? Like, this guy, he's just, he's budding back here, and eventually he's gonna be a beautiful flower that we're gonna send out. That's gonna, that's gonna hurt these guys mightily. I think we prefer it like this. Even though we could get you to die faster a different way, I, I stand by this. Um, what the heck is going on down here? <laughs> I think we could have done this better, but... You know what? I actually am like... Th to spend on that is idiotic, but it's kind of funny at least. Then we can get a damage shield on our champion. And, uh... I don't know. Instead of getting plus four... Eight, oh, because you don't have burnout. I keep thinking I'm going to summon you as a human shield and then your burnout's going to crush, but... You don't have burnout, so... Or then you, you summon you as a human shield and then when you die, you'll get five HP. Not that your burnout's going to crush. Sorry, this is like the last video I'm recording today. Brain is completely fried. It's the best time to play Monster Train. So you're getting tanky as heck. You do two damage, so a train steward doesn't really do too much for us. You got tons of life. I think that's that's our best option. I can't believe you're not dying, dude. I think we could probably fit a train steward up here now. You know what? That's good, because it means you actually die, and we'll take energy next turn. Though it might seem a little backwards. I like our setup here. Our champ is weird. It's like the inverted version of the Stygian champ. It has a lot of... Uh, a lot of life, but not very much damage. So you're on three fuel. We pog that, okay. Um, I think I still like you up at the front to do five extra damage. It's a bit weird, but... At least we get to start by doing five damage here. Alright, so we should get molded maybe? It's been a long time. We did. Um, molded... It's rough. Because it would be really nice to mold the lady back, because she already has nice burnout. She'd be a great tank for us. But we can't really do it. So I think we do just take the draft. But the draft should do like 120 damage. Yeah. And then I'm like... I actually don't think the drip fall makes any sense. But I'll tell you just mathematically, you're dead. We didn't have to do that. We could have just waited till the next floor, but... That's still totally fine. Um, and our champ, mighty interesting. Mighty interesting right now. I don't really think that Formless Child is the is the card for this deck. Unless we, I mean, if we can give it Endless, then it's insanely good. Um, but I think a nice spell... Shroud Mitosis is great too, but we don't really have any... We don't have the units we want for that purpose. Um... I would say you go Morsel Master and put it on the robot floor. And I, I actually do think this time we want capacity, but... 
Energy is close behind. Do we want an Umbra unit? Yeah, we kind of still have a floor that's unoccupied. Because, like, y you have a floor, and then everything else has a floor. A, a different floor. So we could really use the Lifesteal Umbra unit, ideally. And we got it. <laughs> uh, morsel gives draw is probably what I would take here, so it's what I'm going to take. And then our train stewards, we're, we're united up. We're, I don't think we're ever going to get another unit to begin with, but the, the train stewards have got to go. Our basic cards are totally fine right now, and it's weird. I think, like, almost this is better here, but let, let's go hard on the harvest, because I think it makes you into, like, an, an, a truly incredible tank. What we would love to see, I think, is endless on our... No, thank you. Endless on the Lady of the Reformed, or whatever her name is. I think that would be the best thing for us. Because then she'll tank for our champ, while our champ gets, like, disgustingly strong in reserve. Like, I want to summon you on the bottom floor, but I need you to die. So this is super strange, but check this out. Our draw just drew dead... dead wood. It's not what it's called, but... <laughs> it's okay. Because I want to put the drag out here and get it to kill you, but, you know, we're, we're a little hamstrung. We can only do so much. We're going to put a drag up here, and the train steward's down here because we got nothing else really to go there for a while. This is what we want. You need to play this floor. Um, we really just want the draft to die so that we can get the life steal out of it. We're not going to descend anybody. Everything's fine there. We are about to draw, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Pog to you as well. Um, everything's dying. That's fine. We're basically set up. We do still need to set up our lifesteal unit, and in my head, I'm like, hold on, how much damage are you doing here? <laughs> I'm like, can we set it up? Because Morsel Master on the Lifesteal unit is probably better. We only need to give you as much fuel as you need. Lifesteal, we wanted to just get out of control, right? So I actually think we do this, this, this. We don't mind this, actually, at all. Um, no encant triggers, no sweeps. And then doubling the Morsel Maker is amazing. Now, doubling Lifesteal is good, but I think actually doubling a damage shield so you live long enough to use the Lifesteal you already got is pretty nice as well. You know? Why not? I feel like we are kind of... We're not doing great by our champion standards right now. This is lovely. Our champion needs a little... needs a little gas. So in terms of molding, I definitely think she just comes out again. But I also think it's sick if you die and kill all these units to make us pog out of our gourds. Um, hello. I'm trying to think about how to do this. I don't really want to ice you yet, I think. Oh, Ru Ruka scared you? <laughs> Actually, I feel like we don't play trap shoot. I feel like this, we're, we're better off not playing it here, I think. So our champ has gotten a little bit stronger. It's nice to see. You have two fuel, which you will need. Now this time, you have 65. Certain, hold on, we'll draw first, and you need some fuel. Man, I'd love to be able to play Blazing Bolts. I'll tell you that much. Why don't you get a little gas here? 6-1. You don't do quite enough damage. We definitely want to hit you with this so that you die and don't clog our deck with garbage. I think we're in a good spot right now. We definitely, this time... Hold on, I just got to see how much damage you do. 11, 10, 10. I think we, we need you to lifesteal a lot here. And by need, I mean, probably we would get you on a future floor, but it would be nice to get you earlier. And actually, it's, it looks weird. I think our deck does a lot better if we just take one of you down so you guys die before you can add anything. We also, if we if we brought our champion down, I'm pretty sure we would just win. But 
I mean, we're gonna win here regardless, so. All right, I mean, that was good. That was really, really good. And our champion, I, I think I'm still underestimating them a little bit. I still am like, should we really just put them up at the front so they become a tank early? I don't know. We have no extinguishability. It's so good at, on Legion of Wax, though. Reform a unit and enhance with an additional plus 10. I will admit, though expensive, I think an ability to bring units back means something to us. I don't think those do. And my choosiness has benefited me, I think, recently. Um, we still are looking for unit upgrades. We definitely also want spell upgrades. But we want everything. At least the train stewards are gone now. So, Endless is not what we want. Quick is good, for sure. But not on these guys, really. I always feel like, um... Like, a damage shield is okay, just to make sure the lifesteal unit gets off the ground, but... Straight up. I think this is an early reroll. Endless on the Lady of the House. Or, now that I'm thinking about it, because, don't get me wrong, that works well, but we'll use it less often, probably, than something like an Endless Draft. Although, admittedly, when it comes back, it's not going to be that good. <laughs> it's just going to be a 30-10 unit that never dies. Let's do it. It's, it's weird. Don't get me wrong. I think we're going to give you plus 10. Uh, and our, our hope for the future is that we're going to be able to give you, like, plus 25 or more life coming right up. Cave of a Thousand Eyes. Offer five life to possibly get an artifact. I will. I will. You love to hear it? You love to see it? Ten life for a good relic? That's a good trade. That's a trade I don't, I don't find myself disappointed in. Good trial. Enemy units get multi-strike. Multi-strike with a sweep. I feel like we turn it on because we're not afraid of any units dying except for our lifesteal unit. So we'll we'll work on this one, okay? That's that's where I'm at. Deep dunk. Deep dunk. Deep dunk. Dunk. Hear me out. Spicy. Um. The the sensible play, by the way, is well, no, well, yes. You get ready for a collector and see what we draw. Oh, that's not what you. No, it's okay. It's okay. You go up here now. We'll put our robot on the second floor, and you. Get to die early and kill this guy, and everybody's happy. That's kind of a dream come true. Um, we want to draw early just to see what we get. That's good. This is the way to run this for sure. And do me a favor, go heavy on the, the extra life steal. Honestly, I think you should take a hit. And because you're dying up front... Oh, we could have put you up front to give you plus five extra life. You know what? This is this is super weird. But I'm like, what if we descend this unit? Don't we... Oh, because you're dazed, you don't get extra life. However, you get you do get healed by the healer now. Maybe not my finest move. Um, well, there's no draw coming for us here. We know you're going to take this floor. I hate this healer, dude. <laughs> it's, it's a weird one. I'm like, dude, maybe descend the healer. It's, it's not a great play, I think, but... That does get us a bunch of kills. Our Pyre's gonna have some nasty times. I think that might be okay. 
So careful with the sweeping units. Careful with the sweeping units. That's delightful. You do 12 damage. So we really just have to put morsels on that floor, huh? <laughs> well, no, hold on. Are these units? You could kill the robot. It doesn't have any fuel. It hasn't done anything for you yet. It is taking a lot of damage off the field to do that. But I'm also like, what if you just summon, like, three morsels, okay? Hear me out here. We love it. Just summon a staggering amount of morsels on this floor. And then... Play your cards. Let's go! <laughs> you dumb idiot mad genius, you've done it. Still, Pyre's gonna get hit pretty badly, but that was, that was pretty solid. Okay, I mean, we have to... This has to get out of here so that we can move down the, the threshold there. Um, and then truly, I don't mind bringing out a second tank. So we can do something like this. We got eight turns of stealth. She's taking 225 damage, dude. I think, like, a dazing... Does dazing remove the stealth? Because if it does, doesn't seem so. Okay, good to know. Is there another, like, a half-decent tank we could put out? Anything we put out is gonna buy us another turn of the stealth being destroyed. So we like it. And then even this, I'm like, why not? It's gonna burn out in two turns. Oh, it, it, that's why not. Because <laughs> it's gonna burn out in two turns, dude. Um, so I, I would say at this point, you're doing great, but get that lifesteal chugging along there. That's very nice. We, we got all the stealth taken care of. The robot's doing just fine. Because you don't do more than 20 damage. No. Oh, but then we can't play this, you dummy! Hold on, are you dead? No. Why aren't you dead? Because you run out of fuel. Diagnosis correct. All right. Took a lot of pyre damage there. It took us. It, I mean, I think it's an energy situation, maybe, but it takes us a while to get going. But once we get there, when a friendly unit dies, enhances it with plus ten. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not necessary yet. Man, I really wanted some pyre health. Oh well. Um, so, what do we cut? Shade splitters, we have so many morsel generators, they can go. Honestly, pretty much essential. I, all I wanted to not see was gorge abilities can trigger an additional time, because that would have. That would have really tied it together. But I, I feel pretty good. I still feel pretty good. I am entertaining the thought of what if we had our champion... There's two ways to play it, right? What if we had our champion on the top floor so they had more time to get strong? But I think the way we should be playing it is champion on the bottom so more enemies die. I hate that you got a bunch of armor. That's not fair. I like this. We're getting life. Not as many harvest triggers as I'd like, but that, that could change quickly. So I still think you want... Here's the thing. Normally, I think you would want robot on floor two. How much damage are you going to do? Not that not that much. I think, but because, you know, they could... We want lifesteal on the top floor. But I think we want robot on the top floor because we don't have any way to gas up our uh, their fuel on this one. Man, this is a bummer, because I was really hoping... Are you, do we have sweepers? No. I was really hoping that uh, we would draw the lifesteal unit, but it is what it is. You have an encant that gives you 10 armor. We really like that. 
We may draw our unit here. We didn't. In fact, we drew probably the worst possible uh, setup. <laughs> we love this. That's that's like a gimme. I don't really want to give you 10 extra armor, but this floor is where this belongs for sure. I don't know. This does give 10 extra HP to our champ. On top of doing a pretty decent amount of damage. And then up here, it slows these guys way down, dude. Well, one thing's for certain. We're gonna gas you up. I hate to say it, but I think you drag here in the hopes of being able to kill these guys in the future. Oh, but it doesn't even die, because it's so good and strong. Which is really bad, because we're gonna draw our lifesteal unit, and how the heck are we gonna put it there? Um, so this is, uh, this is a new one. We probably still could have fit it, but it's the principle or something. You guys are going to make, you're actually going to stop following the units all the way up. It's so rude. I'll take that any day of the week. Getting pretty nice, huh? I like having you back here because it's a, a sizable amount of damage. So our pyre is going to get hit, but then the bleeding is probably going to stop. At least for a bit. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. So what do we like? We've got a lot of energy. Sorry, that one's my bad. <laughs> you take an 80. You need to take 81 to die. All right. I, I hate that we had to do it, but it is what it is. I don't think we play Crushing Demise. Let me get that out there. You're already dead. So the only thing I would do maybe is try to daze uh, one of these units so we you're burning out anyway. But we're, we're still pretty okay with this, I think. Try to get those life uh, steals cruising as fast as possible. The draft is a big part of our game plan here. So is this, actually. Like, molded lady of the house. Is, there, is something we're a big fan of. You only have one life steal. How much fuel do you have? Two? Just wanted to see how we, how we did there. You're going to hit the unit cap, so I, th I think we prefer that. Bringing you back is good, but the endless draft is pretty nice as well. And then we can always daze a unit. I think we just daze. Well, if we daze a unit, you won't die, but you will burn out, so that's fine. Might as well... But what, then what are we dazing for? We could daze you, but do we really want to stack up a nightmare floor? I don't think so. Well, in that case, I, I hate to say it, but maybe we'd be just be better off putting one more lifesteal morsel up there that, that helps us get pogged. So we're not quite going to get you. Unless we will. How do you feel about that? Worth. In my opinion, that's value. Final wave? Not quite. That armor is nasty. So you're not quite dying. Which does suck really badly. Um, but we can we can get around it. You don't do enough damage, so check this out. You're done. Um, you're going to need some fuel for the future, but... Maybe not that much. Oh, I can no, we can't get you. We can't. That's exactly what I was looking for. Not the way you normally do it, but that'll work. All right. So our champ is a 43-165. It's really, really good. Um, definitely, I would not play this. <laughs> this is pretty good. Um, 
Do we have a molded coming up? We do, so we can actually bring our champion back. We probably wouldn't. We'd probably bring the lady back instead because she'll have better stats. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I definitely think you do play this. But then the question is, what do you bring back? And, uh... I mean, I think this is a... That's like another 200 and something damage. So we like that. And then we like this. Very nice noises. That was still good damage. I'm not too worried about it. Um, so Molded is like a must play, but... The thing is, like, if we bring back the lady... We don't want her to cannibalize the lifesteal. So as bizarre as it may seem, I'm almost like maybe it makes the most sense. Because this only adds 140 damage. Maybe you bring back the lady and you just sort of leave her. Like you would have burnout one, you do 74 damage. That's nothing. So I think you bring back the lady. At least she has burnout five. We put her in front of the morsel maker. She almost gets you. And then you just double up so you get twice as much life steal. And I was going to say, that should probably do it. We're definitely not perfect yet. But it's a little bit of a weirder run than usual, for sure. Devourer of Death. On harvest, gain a soul. On extinguish, deal damage to enemy units equal to 15 times the soul count. That's double harvest triggers. But I, I don't know, like... I, I sort of just don't see it, which might be my own fault here, but... I just, I, I kind of don't get it. I, I, I get it. In principle, I get it. I just don't see how it works in this deck for us instead of against us. So if we're upgrading, we'd like to get you some extra life, but you're actually, you're doing really well for now. But you're, you know you're going to need it for the future. So I'll tell you, I, I think we're going to do spell for now, but we this means we have to take the path on the right side next time. Now in terms of what do you get rid of, I actually feel like you can cut a drag. I feel like you can cut two dregs. They're good, don't get me wrong. We'd rather have our draft. Okay, Blazing Bolts or Wicked Blaze. Really big blaze. Reform is also mighty tempting. Like we can create some seriously nuts units with that. Blazing Bolts though, dude. You, you take it, and you make it cheaper. We know this ain't gonna work for us. So rather than force something, we don't have much we want to remove. Let's save our money. We could maybe buy a relic in addition to getting some unit upgrades next time. Absolutely not. You gotta make those probably like five times better to get me to consider them. Which means I probably heavily undervalue them. <laughs> This one's not even a contest, so I, I I, think I did underestimate the harvest. When you start getting like plus five life, not that big of a deal. However, when it becomes uh, plus 30 per unit that dies, that's incredible. So Pyre Wings is going to make energy a real problem. But I'm looking at it and I'm like, Spike's five. I think it'll kill Morsel Master, which is maybe a little much for me, so I, I, I opted out. I don't want it. Hello. Okay, so this is like is a beautiful situation right here. Here's what you do. You summon a Morsel. Well, okay, hold on. We're gonna we want our Morsels to die. Because every single one of them that dies instead of getting eaten gives us plus 30 HP. So you come out. You don't even have to be on this floor anymore. Quite frankly. Because I think you're going to be strong enough to do it yourself. Why, why are we... Oh, because you're not... <laughs> they're not actually dying because they're so strong. That's funny. Um, anyway, we can play you 
here. But the problem is you, you really do work best as a tank. <laughs> you don't really do that well at the back. But on the other hand, I'm going to play you at the back anyway. Because when you... First off, you're going to do some damage at some point. But secondly, um, it means you die so I can bring you back faster. So we do. We always want gorging. Gorging is always going to be worth something for us. We're going to set up a lifesteal on the top floor. And uh, morsels that are good go up there. Just see what we draw. This is what we wanted, quite frankly, even though we lose access to this for now. So you're going to get pogged. You're going to generate 20 life for me. And honestly, just rather you not hit. This is far from bad right now. Um, so again, we want... I mean, honestly, bringing back morsels is pretty tempting. You're going to come back with too much life, though. Well, in that case, we, we like a morsel miner. And a doubled up morsel miner, you know, you could do a lot worse. That's our capacity floor. I mean, I'm like, you could put... No, because you, you're going to burn out in a second anyway. You're not doing anything, so we should have played you at the back on this one, actually, but... It's not a big deal either way. You only do four damage. Okay, I, I can live with that then. Um, truth be told... Oh, no, I, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Truth be told, if you're not killing anything, I'd prefer you didn't Ember Drain. <laughs> so I like that. Uh, we can keep our energy going for next time. Obviously, you're not getting a kill, but that's that's life. No sweepers here. You don't even get to attack this turn. Honestly, I shouldn't, but I am willing to roll the dice here. What did I say? What was, like, the first thing I said? I shouldn't. <laughs> But I did. But I did. Alright, so what's the new play? Um, draw. Enhance as soon as possible. Or molded. That's that's the other one. And then get... Uh, get you out. But you burn out one, dude. Alright, actually, I think we play the burnout four then. Just to put some damage upfield eventually. It's not a great start. But I definitely cannot deny that I've done it to myself. We're getting 76 life here, so I do want you to attack. Weird. Um, but good. Weird, but good. I think you do need to get hit. 12 exactly actually means you die in three hits to the pyre. A brief respite. And and a respite that's that's very welcome. You're a problem. We have no energy. Okay, we got a lot of problems then. <laughs> However, our our champion is 74 270. So we're landing 10 attacks right now. That's pretty solid. Um, you burn out in two, which is the dangerous part here. Honestly, we're we're happy-ish with that. I said ish. You have no fuel, man. That's spicy. You do more damage. So you living a little bit longer is, is worth a little bit more. As long as you can actually heal a little bit as well, which is presently not happening. Um, so I probably will never take that uh, Crushing Demise card ever again as long as I live. Unless... <laughs> We can only do 160 damage to you. It is what it is. Because, oh yeah, I forgot you have Trample. 160. Actually, we can do 240 to you now. Yeah. 
But like, how is our morsel maker gonna finish the job? I was just gonna say, the only way is if you get like, I mean, it's gotta be the lady because she has the most burnout associated with her. Um, 96, huh? Any unit with burnout one does literally nothing for us. It needs to have more burnout. So I think that... I think that maybe a drag... And then I'm like... Because you have burnout five? Oh my god. May I say... So undeserved that we, that we got the win there, but we found it. That's valuable. I gotta be honest, I'm starting to think that maybe Formless Child is a good harvest trigger. It, bring, it makes things stronger, we bring that Formless Child back later, and it... I see it, I see it. So we have to take right path. The Pyre Health is very welcomed. Large stone is really what we've been waiting for on that unit. Um, but before we do that... We do play a lot of units. I actually think this is a bit of a trap right now. Because most of our... Most of our expensive cards are units. Which means we don't actually, after a certain point, we don't really need, um... Yeah, I like this, by the way, to get you going a little further on burnout. Um... Is 160? I don't know, man. I'd rather reroll and get something a little better at this point. We don't really need to purge. You know? Sure, there you go. And, uh, there you go. Um... I forgot what I was talking about. But anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think that our energy situation is totally fine as is. So right now, I actually think Mind Collapse is a bad card. And I hate to say it, because it, 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 it can be great and it's about to be gold if we win here. But I think Crushing Demise is a dead card. I think unless I draw it insanely early, I will not play it. So goodbye. Um, though, it, though it hurts me to do that, because I think that it would be super nice. If it, in, in the ideal world in which it works, it would be incredible. So our spells get consumed. Very important to pay attention to. What do we want to play that gets consumed? We want to play other cards that were already consuming themselves. This is not great. It's not a great start. Um, We like that, but it can't hit itself, right? So we're not we're not too stoked. That's just the way you play that. Um, but it's it's not a it's not a perfect start. This is better, but still pretty bad. So we like that's the way we're playing this. And the capacity works out nicely. That's pretty sick. You're living. You got the ability to live, so we're not too worried about it just yet. But this is a very slow start. I'm worried about our pyre more than anything else. We don't mind getting rid of a Shade Splitter, but if we're gonna consume a card... I think you can see where I'm going with this one. Why not play your consume early? So I just don't like you. So what if we just sent you downwards? And then you will live. But first, too bad you will die. Hate to say it, brother. Gotta give you one of those, okay? Now, I, I do want you to have fuel, don't get me wrong. You get lifesteal? I think you'll live to use it. I think you will live to use it. Man, I would love for you to tank, but obviously we can't do that, because then it'll cannibalize the gorges. Got a lot of trash in this deck. Drawing a lot of garbage. 
Now with molded, it's it is weird, but I think you bring back your formless child, even though bringing back a morsel would also be good value. Now you guys, you're not dying. That's a real problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you up here because you have burnout. You'll kill these two units at the back. That's borderline necessary. Now here, um, I do hate this, but we gotta try to punch through some of these units a little bit better. I'm very skeptical that this is working, but the whole time all this is happening, our champ is getting ready to pop. You know, he, he's he's at 5129. That's a good start. You're really a 59-3 unit. <laughs> so I actually think I want you to take the hit up at the front. That way we can kill some of these units. It's still not you, huh? Well, well, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We know you're dying, but you're gonna die to burnout anyway. So, like, quite honestly, nobody cares. Uh, without being rude about it, of course. Now you, I want you at the back because you do great damage. That's that's nice. You're taking quite the nasty hit. I think it would benefit us if this happens. That seems better. And then I think, you know, I really don't want to feed the pyre on this one. But like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you gotta do that, I guess. Our pyre is in a very dangerous spot. I'm like, I'm begging for the boss to show up. Because we're just not doing enough damage output to stop the enemies. And this is where it usually starts to starts to get a little hot for sure. You do do 50 damage. That's, I mean, it's not nothing. No matter what, you're probably starting here. Lifesteal, if you live, will be swell. We're probably going to live. I'm just going to call that right here. You're living. Now you got to live through the next turn as well, which is also uh, kind of like equally dangerous. Hold on, check this out. You're probably like, NL, what are you doing? You're forgetting about, you know, the fact that you got to pog these guys up? No, I'm not forgetting about the fact that I got to pog them up. We just got so many more morsels coming our way. Of course, this is also operating under the assumption that our pyre will live, which I'm now realizing is not going to happen right here. And I think we just lost. That was a tough one. I thought we were in there. I thought we had a chance, but we just didn't quite hold it down at the end. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. You know the deal. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. We're going to get it one day. We've been knocking on the door. And I'll see you next time.